Arignadem, a village of 410 people, north of Gumri, up in northern Shirak. We understand they have a female mayor of that village, and that's great because there's only a handful of those in the whole country. Let's have a trip up there, talk to her, and talk to another guy in the village who's making, as far as we've heard, cast iron stoves. Great stuff. Join us for today's trip up to Arignadem. Arignadem, we're at the mayor's house, a female mayor, and she's got a couple of lovely dogs, but let's try to get past them and into the kitchen, because she's also a great cook. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> And what are you making? This is a it's going to be interesting to see what it what it turns out to be. <laughs> In the meantime, you were the mayor of this village. Uh, how, how did that happen? <laughs> Եվ շատ եմ սիրում գյուղը, հոգսեր է շատ էին, լուծումներ տվողներ է շատ կիչ, փորձեցին կսանդրվել և լուծում տալ, և պարկասում ենց, որ թե ստացվում է, թե էր շատ դժվար է կնոչ համար։ When was the village founded? Տասնութիորդարից how many how many other women mayors are there in the country? Do you know? I know it's popular in China. I'm not aware of this. Because I'm thinking about it. She has been married for two years. Yes, yes. After the time I came to Kavara, after the year of Tarine, I came to Kavara. What's the advantage of being a female mayor? And what's the disadvantage of being a female mayor? I've lived in this world. I've lived in a city. I've lived in Orinoch. I've been to this place. So, is this where to name for two women? Danica. Um, when you say you cooperate with the other 19 female mayors, what, what does that mean? How do you cooperate? I cooperate with And you mentioned that, that you became mayor uh, because you wanted to help solve some of the, the, the problems that the village has. What, what are the problems here? Հայաստանի հարաբերության հուսային շրջաններ պրոբլեմները համայրավոր նույն են, բայց մեր համայքը միակ գյուղ համայքն է, որ դպրոցի շենք չունի։ Վարչական ոչ մի շենք չունի, իսկ մեզ համար ամենակարևորը դա դպրոցի շենքն է։ Չկա կուլտուրայիտուն, զբաղմը ժամանցի վայրեր չկա։ What possibilities are there for work here? Գիտեք, ընդհարվես գյուղերում աշխատատեղը համարվում է հողը։ անասուն պահելը հողագործությունը, ասկեն ու որվես կործազուրգներ այդպիսիք չկան։ Բայց հիմա այնպիսի ժամանակներ է, որ տնտեսություն է ինքան էլ մեծ եկամուտ չի բերում մարդկանց։ Ուրական չուր ընդանիքին տրված մեկ չապա� Ուրական ուտղամայք ունեն աշկոն է կատի մթել մանսարեցման կետ, ավատ աշատ լավ գիտներ, որդեր 
լիակտ մաշրջանում ամրանը, լինում են դեպքիր, որ կատը չեն ասում տանել, թեցում է կի չանում է իստա, ակեն կյուղացում ու տրվանին շատ է խպում։ Նինականում ոչ խարապություն a milk collection point is normally not for just one village, it's, it's for a group of villages. Uh, are there plans on making, uh, is, there, is there cooperation between the villages on plans like that, in the, in the close villages? Do you have a, a budget for collection? approximately what they cost? <laughs> What is the health uh, situation? Uh, do you have doctors, nurses, station, visiting? I understand that the, uh, you mentioned that someone in the village makes iron stoves, right? Թե ամբողջ քյուղը քանի որ գումախ փով է արդեն տակացնում ինքը այդ արմեն է արմեն է բարաններ է պատրաստում վաճառում է ճիշտ է այնքան ինչ չի պատրաստում եւ շատ մեծ օգուտ է տալիս եւ իրեն եւ համայքին այսքան դրսից բերելու վարաններ բերելու պրոբլեմ չկա Okay but then then Armen you said his name was I think we'll have to go and pay him a visit and see what he's doing To, to meet Armin Gagorian, he's started producing metal stoves, of all things, up in this tiny little village. So we're just going to ask a few questions about him and why he's doing this and so forth. Armin, when did you start making stoves and why? Did, did you start by, by trying to make a stove for your own use and then the neighbors wanted it or how did the how did the market for your product start? How many do you make every year? It's not a huge production, in 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 a, in a way, um, and and the metal, the metal is from scrap metal. Are you, you, you old machines or something? Is, is this a is this a bread oven? Is this for making bread or? Ayo, halat mis kartoshka. So it's central heating. It's a, it's a food cooker basically. It's it's a lot of different a lot of different functions. That's really interesting. That's really interesting. Uh, can I ask how much how much does one cost? One hundred and fifty dollars. One hundred and fifty dollars or so. Small enterprise in a small town, but. It's the start of something. I, I can see the potential for things like this because this stove, when I arrived, I expected something a lot more flimsy, a lot thinner. 
And that's one of the problems with many of the stoves that are being produced in Armenia is that the walls of the of the of the oven are way too thin, and so you use a lot of wood in the course of one day to keep that keep that thing warm. It cools down very fast. It doesn't keep the heat. So I think he's got a great idea here. Combine central heating, cook your food, keep the house warm, all of it together. So I think he's got an idea here. Well, taking off her apron and putting the mayor's hat on, we're about to try mm. Arunik's mm -hmm. homemade. I don't remember the name of it, but it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's an Armenian Georgian dish that she's brought with her to this village 20 years ago, and we're about to try it. And again, I want to say, what an absolute privilege it is to have been in your house, talking to you about you being the mayor and you being the cook, and in the end, being able to taste the wonderful result of all that work. Wow. Thank you very much. Mm. Oh, oh, do you have an extra room I can stay in? <laughs>